You ever smell kids that be smelling like ketchup? Ooh. Oh Lord! I got flipped off the other day. Oh, my knees are about to crack. <laughs> hey girl! Stop playing because we on FaceTime right now. Hey girl! I'm gonna try to make this vlog kind of like a FaceTime kind of vlog where we're just talking. If I mess up, I mess up. It is what it is, okay? But real fast before I go ahead and hop into today's video, I want to go ahead and ask a question to you guys. I want to ask y'all a question. Have you ever had a dream that, that, that? <laughs> okay. Have you ever or are you waking up in the morning with zero motivation, zero determination, zero happiness, zero joy? You're waking up really just... Ugh. Like yesterday, I had all of these plans for today, you know, blah, 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 but I just don't feel like it. You know, I'm supposed to have a good day today. I got all these plans, but I just don't feel like it. It'd just be easy to stay in the house. It'd just be easier just to do my regulars. You are under a spiritual attack. See, there's something on you that we can't physically see, but the evil beings and evil spirits and demonic powers in the spiritual realm, they can see it on you, okay? Jesus put a light on you. And you can't see it, but they can. So as soon as you open up your eyes, they know that if they... My dogs, okay. As soon as you open up your eyes, as soon as you wake up, they know that if they can get into your mind and change your mood and change your mindset, they've got the rest of your day. And all they really have to do is repeat that every single day. Girl, when I tell you I've been fighting from the time I open up my eyes, put my feet on the ground, the devil has a plan for my day. And so does Jesus, so I gotta pick one. Come on, come on. Lord Jesus, I ask that my sister and my brother that's watching this video, Lord Jesus, the devil has a plan for them today. But I ask that you do not allow his plan to succeed. I ask that you let no weapon prosper that forms against them in Jesus' name. I ask that your will be done in their day today, Lord Jesus. I ask that you help them to recognize the deception of the enemy and help them to recognize when they are being attacked. Anything that is messy, anything that is drama, anything that is strife, anything that is bad and brings negative bad emotions is of the devil. Help them to understand that, catch it, realize it, and turn to you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Spiritual warfare is the craziest it has ever been. I mean, you could just see with how the world, what direction the world is aiming right now. How confused everyone is in this world and how comfortable everybody wants to be. Um, hold on, let me get my Bible, y'all. Y'all know I can skip from subject to subject, but this was all coming from me letting y'all know that the enemy right now is trying to get you as soon as you open up your eyes so that he can have your entire day. See, there is a light. There is You are shining in the spiritual realm. They see what he has planned for you. They see what is inside of you. And what they're trying to do is dull your light and take it away. Don't let them. If you're being attacked like crazy, baby, there's a reason. They don't like you, which is a very amazing sign. When these demons are mad, you're doing something right. This is an every single day fight. This ain't just on Sundays. This is every single day. And a lot of us do not know that why we are struggling is because we haven't tapped in to what Jesus wants us to tap into. I was reading in the Bible about the last days and I'm just like, oh my gosh, is this not the truth? Because everybody just wants to be comfortable. Okay, this is Timothy chapter 4, 3 through 4. There's going to come a time when people won't listen to the truth, but will go around looking for teachers who will tell them what they want to hear. They won't listen to what the Bible says, blah, blah, but will belithily I'm not really sure what that means follow their own misguided ideas it also says here in Timothy 3 1 through 5 in the last days it is going to be very difficult to be a Christian for people will love only themselves and their money they will be proud and boastful sneering at God disobedient to their parents ungrateful to them and thoroughly bad they will be hard-headed and never give in to others. They will be constant liars and troublemakers and will think nothing of immorality. They will be rough and cruel and sneer at those who try to be good. They will betray their friends. They will be hot-headed, puffed up with pride, and prefer good times to worshiping God. Wow. They will prefer good times to worshiping God. They will go to church, yes, 
but they won't really believe anything that they hear. Don't be taken in by people like that. So we are in the last days, girl. I, I think that's pretty clear right now. I, oh my gosh. I think that's real clear right now just with everything that's going on and how, you know, these demons are really coming for children right now. They are really attacking children right now um, because children are our future. Um, that all came from me saying there's so much, you guys, that I could talk about and preach about. But that all came from me letting y'all know. That if you wake up in the morning time and every single morning you ain't feeling right, you ain't happy, you don't want to do this junk. It's just too hard. It's just too much going on. They're after you. And they know that they got to attack you when you are vulnerable. And you're very vulnerable in the morning time. I've heard a lot of people say, you know, I'm just not a morning person. And I always believe that, you know, some people just ain't morning people. I'm just not a morning person. No, these demons are attacking you first thing in the morning. Girl, they wait until you wake up. Or they might wake you up. I've been waking up every single morning at 3 o'clock. You know what I've been doing though? Because it's always a way. If there's a will, there's a way. I just know my Jesus got my back. So I know if something is happening, he going to provide a way out. Or he's going to provide a way through. Okay, so what I've been doing is I've been watching. I've been, I always have to have my black screen at nighttime, like rain in my black screen. Because I like the room to be dark, okay? But demons like darkness. So what I've been doing is I still do my dark screen, but they have Bible. They have like uh, scriptures now where a lady like quote scripture and she preaches to you as you sleep. But she's really just quoting scripture. I like that because I don't trust all preachers and she's quoting scripture. I'll go ahead and link it down below. And I listen to that every single morning. I mean, every single night. And when I wake up at three o'clock the other night, that's what I did. Did I wake up last night? No, I didn't. Okay, Jesus. Um, but the night before last, I woke up and instantly these demons were taunting me at 3 o'clock in the morning. And I sat up. I, I, I sat up, baby. I sat up and I just began to talk to Jesus. And I just, began, I just began to speak things because there is so much power in your words and you are going to move in the direction of your words. Okay, so I said, hey, Jesus loves me. I am talented. I have what it takes to be successful. The joy of the Lord is my strength. I'm going far places in Jesus' name. Jesus is going to help me. I just said everything positive. And girl, I was so tired after I said all of that. I went back to sleep. Now, usually I stay up for a good hour and I just kind of like ponder on everything they, whatever they put into my mind, I just kind of think on. Girl, no. It's time to fight. You know, like when you know something, but you just don't do it. Like, I know that me saying everything to you guys, I'm going to be attacked with it 10 times harder. So please pray for me. If I've ever helped you with anything that I'm saying or said, please pray for me that I can be strong and fight off what is attacking me for saying what I need to say because they're going to try to hurt the messenger. If people are, that's why when I watch Joyce Meyer or Joel Osteen and I get a message and it helps me in my life, I say, Lord Jesus, please help them to fight off these demons or evil spirits, whatever is attacking them for helping us and for helping me. Keep them strong, Lord Jesus, and help them to fight this fight. Send your ministering angels to them, Lord Jesus. Give them peace and confirmation that what they're doing is right. Because even in my last vlog that I posted, the attack spiritually, not people, spiritually has been crazy. Everything that I said in that vlog, I've been attacked with full force. But it's been up to me whether I'm going to sit up here and let them jump me and beat me up. Or I'm going to get up and trust that the Lord Jesus Christ. Because look, he can't keep doing stuff if you're not going to do your part as well. If you want to just keep letting them beat you down and you ain't going to try nothing, he can't come and be like, get off my child. Because you just letting them do it. You kind of just entertaining it. But if you're trying to fight, oh, baby, he going to fight with you. I said, get away from her. I said, get away from him. Come on, baby, let's go. You see what I'm saying? Fight. Okay, it's time to fight. Start saying good things about yourself. Don't ever allow yourself to speak bad, negative, gross things about yourself out of your mouth. You're going to feel those feelings even more. Say, I am beautiful. Jesus loves me. My future is a future of success. I am strong. The joy of the Lord is my strength, not the joy of my circumstances, not the joy of what I bought or what they're, what people are doing. The joy of the Lord, what he doing in my life, where the joy of Jesus Christ is my strength. Be careful. It's real easy to be deceived in these times. You know, you got people that are able to speak real good and use their words so good that they can manipulate you into living for the devil. Okay. They convince you that it's up to you. It's you. It's you. It's you. It's, it, it's, a, it's a very scary time. And especially for my mamas out here, let me tell you something. Well, how everything is right now, 
you gotta be armored up to be a mama in Christ. Because now you got lives that you're responsible for. And only Jesus can help you make sure these babies don't become deceived and lost and beat down to the ground. You got to be the one to let them know what's going on in their life and, and, and where these feelings are coming from and what's going on, you know, and fake friends and all these different things. If they're your babies, you got a light on you, they got a light on them too. Protect them. They want your kids more than they want you. And if you are getting attacked, they're trying to get you in a negative, bad, nasty mood and anger so you can be mean at your kids. And one thing that I have noticed is that when your parents are constantly scolding you and being mean to you, you kind of feel like God is like that. I know it's hard being a mom, y'all, and I give y'all so many pride. You a mama, girl. I, I, God bless you in Jesus' name. I tell them babies, I say, hey. Have faith that the promises he has made to you will come to pass. See, visualize what your life is going to be. Pray and have faith that he will do it, okay? Because listen, I, I was reading this yesterday. Hebrews 6, 12. Then, knowing what lies ahead for you, you won't become bored with being a Christian, nor become spiritually dull and indifferent. But you will be anxious to follow the example of those who receive all that God has promised them because of their strong faith and patience. They received everything that Jesus promised them because of their strong faith and patience. Faith is one of the tools you need to fight in the spiritual realm because if you don't believe that anything is good, is good if you don't believe that anything good is gonna come out of this, girl, you ain't gonna fight. Patience. Things don't happen like this. That's a way to fall. That is a really, that's the fast track going down if you think that it's gonna happen overnight. What you are doing right now, he sees you. What you're doing is not going unnoticed. And even my moms out there that are stay-at-home moms, you know, I know they don't feel good all the time because you have, you see women out here, you know, they getting their money, they got their careers, but what you're doing is so much more powerful. You are protecting and raising children that Jesus has put on this earth. He cares more about humans than he cares about money. He cares more about hearts of people and minds of people and motive of people than he does about you getting that bag, baby. What you're doing is so much more powerful as a mom. And I always tell my mom that because I know my mom has felt certain ways, you know. But what my mama did has allowed me to do what I'm doing. You are paving the way for those babies. You are dope. You that girl, honey. You ain't got to be sitting up dressing all crazy, makeup all crazy, riding around in a big old Tahoe Cadillac Escalade to be a good mom. We didn't have nothing growing up and I can promise you I ain't got nothing bad to say about my mama. We had our ups and downs, we had our struggles. But the fact that she was there for me and she supported us and no matter what happened, she was there and she showed us love and she taught us about Jesus, that's all that mattered. And it worked for her. I don't have like a lesson, I'm just talking. So it's kind of like I'm on FaceTime with you. I'm not a minister, I don't have a ministry, I'm not a preacher, I'm just talking to y'all because this life is hard. Whatever you wanna do in life, baby, you qualify. You're qualified because Jesus qualifies you. If Jesus puts his anointing on you, amen, say, Lord Jesus, anoint me to do this, Lord Jesus. So, Lord Jesus, I ask that you please anoint me to get through this video and do this video and help people, Lord Jesus. Anoint me because it's your anointing that's going to make it possible. I was, I'm, I'm going to be real with you, I was the least qualified to be a YouTuber. I had a little iPhone. Our house was not cute. Um, I was very insecure, very shy. Um, didn't think much about myself. But here I am. That anointing is what qualifies you. Somebody could be singing like Whitney Houston. But hey, she sang for the Lord too. But let's just say, let's say she's singing for the Lord. And you got somebody over here that, don't, that ain't got much experience in singing. But if the Lord anoints this person, you're going to feel that person. You're going to catch the Holy Ghost off of that person. And she got more talent. Whatever you're doing, do it for Jesus. If you're a school teacher, have the patience and love of Jesus. If you are... Working at a fast food restaurant, have the patience and love of Jesus. He sees you. This is all a part of your journey. This is all a part of your plan. Stop looking at them. Stop looking over there. Focus on you. He's got you where he wants you to be. It's not over. Get your butt up and be positive. Come on. Let's get this day started. You all right? He loves you and he's watching you. And he thinks about you millions of times. What the Bible said? The Bible said he thinks about you as much as the grains of sand that cover the beach. Something like that. That's how he thinks about you millions of times in a day and he loves you. Stop letting the devil lie to you with this guilt trip and jump. I mean, with guilt and sadness and shame. 
He loves you. He forgives you and, rem and remembers your sins no more. He keep reminding you of stuff that he already forgot. Come on, girl, let's go. Okay, girl, so this is my current closet progress. So we never made it to Ikea, but what I did do was I went on to Wayfair and I got these super cute little dressers. They don't hold much though. So that's the twist. They look like they're super deep and girl, they are not. They barely hold anything. But for the first time in forever, I have an underwear drawer and a bra drawer. So thank you, Jesus. Oh my gosh, it feels so amazing coming in here and grabbing clothes. <clears throat> Sorry, do not mind this. I have to wash all these underwear and I have to go ahead and put a couple more clothing pieces away. But yeah, so I got these off of Wayfair. They had a big sale. So these were what, $1.90 each? And my brother put them together. So thanks, Brent. And I gotta go ahead and get another one. But also, things are blessings in disguise. Don't get so upset so soon. So I got these dressers and um, one of them came damaged. Where is it at? One of them, here it is. This one came damaged and it has like this chip in it and there was red stuff all around it. So we got the red stuff off, or my little brother did. And it has this chip in it. So we gave them a call and with Wayfair, what they used to do was they used to send you out the exact piece that was damaged. But I guess the seller of this product, like the person that they get this product from, doesn't do stuff like that. But what she did was she's like, you know what, I'm gonna, I can give you 25% off of both of them and credit it to your account or you can just return it and we'll send out another one or refund blah 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 and I was like what the heck that is so inconvenient to me like what is 25% but then I thought about it I was like it's 25% off of both of them girl so my account got credited for 104 and I'm able to get another dresser it was a blessing in disguise little did I know I was starting to get upset and then I thought about it and then it all worked out so I just thank Jesus for everything you know there's there's a positive to everything so it's like why live negative um I got my camera on this um hang up tripod I usually use this for my higher angles but like growing up I was literally taught to be so negative because my dad was the most negative attention seeking person I've ever met like he was just so negative he would flip out and be a literal monster maniac and have me shaking over the tiniest things I was just telling my mom because we were driving out to come see this place we were on our way to come see this place and so we had to drive out of town and the danger outlet like closer to where I live we were getting off on the exit and out of nowhere I recognized where we were and I was like wait a minute mom there was a time where dad this is when they got divorced <clears throat> where dad had us all in the car and we were going to see my big brother Cameron to go visit him at the University of Michigan because that's where my brother went to college we were on our way to go see him and my dad's car started to get hot when I tell you this man told all of us in the car that we were going to die and you can't even imagine how much prayer and how many tears I prayed and cried in that car I was shaking we're all gonna die and of course there's plenty of cuss words in this we're all gonna blah 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 just get prepared this is gonna blow up and we're all and when I tell you I was so scared and like looking around I was like this is where it happened oh my gosh am I so grateful I don't have to deal with that stuff anymore because this is the truth my dad's death was a blessing in disguise because he never got it together and at the end he had been threatening us he had been threatening to have us hung I don't even want to get into it he had been talking really reckless and only Jesus knows the thoughts of man and only he knows the motive and what people are thinking behind our backs and what they're saying behind our backs and I believe it would have been us or him he couldn't accept the fact that my mom didn't want to be with him anymore and so all I say is thank you because I don't know what would have happened if that man would have still been alive if that man was still alive he will protect you in every way possible I don't know where that came from but I was just taught to be super negative and super rage and just crazy and I don't want to be like that and so he had to remove my father out of the way I don't want to say father because only God is my father he had to move my dad out of the way and everything worked out and my mom is able to become the woman that she's always wanted to be and that she's called to be because when there's a man that being used by demons 24 7 it does stop your growth if you're married to him because you two are one and that's why it's very important to make sure that you get with the right person because once you guys are one their sin affects you and so my mom made a very tough but amazing decision to divorce my dad and she followed through with it and she never went back and that's what, what it was it was hard for her but she did it and I thank her because girl she made a 
big difference in our lives by making that hard decision and stepping out on faith, stepping out on faith because we really had nothing after she left my dad. We had absolutely nothing, no protection, no finance, nothing. But she stepped out on faith and look where we are. I said all of that for what? For what? What am I even talking about right now? I came in here to talk about being negative. Oh, I was talking about my dressers. Yeah, my closet, you guys. So this is my closet right now, you guys. Super cute, super cute. And I'm gonna go ahead and start going through this box because it says that it's all jackets from my office closet at my old place. So these should be super easy to go ahead and hang up because it's all jackets. And I've still been donating clothes, you guys, because I don't have as much space as I thought. And every single time I go to the store, I see cute clothes and girl, I do not buy them. Okay, I'm trying to learn self-control and that I don't need to buy everything all the time. It was definitely something I was doing out of pain. Um, and girl, I'm still going to shop. It's fun. But I was overdoing it for sure and just trying to heal the pain that only Jesus could heal. Okay, jackets, jackets, jackets. Let's see. Because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to like get rid of any of these. Only because like all my jackets are pretty darn pricey. Jackets are expensive, period. I'm just going to hang up this box and then... We're going to move on to other stuff because I just don't want to be in the closet today. And I just really thank Jesus for Jordan. Like, I talk about it all the time, but I really thank Jesus for that. Because, first of all, I was not planning on being in a relationship right now. I was not planning on being engaged. But Jesus knows how my life was going to go. And he knew that it was time for Jordan to go ahead and be in my life. And he knew my future. And so he knew what I needed. And Jordan um, is definitely needed in my life. And I just love the man. He's amazing. And um, the Lord, he will give you exactly what you need. Okay, so um, this isn't saying it in a way that I'm not attracted to my fiance. Oh my gosh, I love him. I think he is extremely handsome. I'm in love with the guy. But um, I he wouldn't have been the guy that I would have gone for. I'm just going to be honest. Like my type was very toxic. It wasn't like a good type. It just wasn't good and so what jesus did was he said oh no 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 this is the one i have for you and this is the only one i have for you if you step out of what i blessed you with then there will be a lot of problems and um i knew that you know jesus christ was telling me that this was the man for me and now every single day i get to realize why he was for me and every single day i see why this is the man that he had for me and why this is the man that he has for me and this is why this is why and and i say this to say that if you are heartbroken from a you know a breakup i just want to say that listen he got something so much better for you that's the truth he got something so much better for you that he will allow you to experience this pain because that ain't what he got for you and that ain't me talking negatively about the person that is me saying that he loves you so much that he will allow you to go through pain so he can bless you and that's the truth it really 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 is girl this is cute i ain't never worn it hold on what's this i bought this because my driver's ed was in a store called sears and so I will go shopping like every day, but this is kind of cute. Hold on, hold on. Hey, like what? This is kind of cute. I'm looking like Inspector Gadget. Girl, stop playing with me. Ugh. Okay. But that's how much he loved his baby girl. And that's how much he loved his baby boy. He sees the future. He sees that either I allow them to go through this little pain right here, or they're going to have to go through more pain. So once he moves somebody out of your way and out of your path, don't play around with that. Don't try to pull them back in. Cause it's not in his purpose not his will and once you step out of his will and you step out from underneath his arms you're not on solid ground and so just be happy what jesus you know blessed you with and look at things the right way you know if i just decided to focus on all the annoyances of jordan oh my gosh girl relationship would be terrible how about i go ahead and focus on all the amazing things things and all the amazing talents and gifts this man has and all the amazing things he does do for me and and be happy <laughs> be happy you know like it's when you highlight all the bad and the bad becomes alive it's like you're waking up a monster that beast is over there sleeping been asleep don't plan on waking up never but then when you keep talking about the bad of a situation he wakes up oh wait a minute then he stands up a little bit and you keep talking now he now i'm up Oh, I'm up and I'm with you. Now I'm friends with you. Now I'm friends with you and until you're completely negative. You know, if we just listen to the Holy Spirit, that tiny whisper of truth, that tiny whisper of the right answer, man, life would be so much better if we just listened to the Holy Spirit. The more time you spend with Christ Jesus and in his word, okay, 
the more you can hear the Holy Spirit. You can really hear the Holy Spirit and what it's telling you to do, okay? Especially if you depend on it. The other day I went to, what was it, Jimmy John's, and the guy was so rude, and I mean, we're face to face, we're eye, we're eye to eye. And we're about this close, because he wants to walk up to me. He wanted to walk up with me with a terrible attitude, with this demonic look in his face, most likely because there was a demon present. And he comes up to me like, over my face i'm like okay yeah mm -hmm. i gotta match you with this stuff because the holy spirit is not cowardice the holy spirit is very powerful and ain't nothing you can do to be stronger or more higher or powerful than the holy spirit so i said holy spirit help me guide my words and do -do 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 -do. holy spirit just starts speaking through me okay you want another sandwich they want me to remake it i said yeah go ahead after he did that he was kind but i definitely encountered something that only the holy spirit could have taken care of. And you can only be bold and confident with the Holy Spirit. Because I don't want to be bold and confident with anger and meanness. I want to be bold and confident with peace. And the Holy Spirit will make a demon look stupid real quick. And most times, if you're feeling negative emotions towards somebody or you're trying to be mean to them, it's most times because demons already been messing around with them. They've already been tormenting them. They've already been making them unhappy. So by you saying something, it could just make their day so much worse. I was listening to Joyce Meyer and she was saying how God told her, you know, as many people as you can help is as many people as you can hurt that is why i want to use my platform for more helping people um because these days are very difficult and these days are very hard we are in times right now that are very difficult and are not easy and they're very confusing because the devil is a prince of confusion people don't know who they are because they don't know who they are in christ people are clinging on to different things changing themselves because they're uncomfortable they're scared they don't know how to feel safe and on solid ground so they're doing all these extra things and it all comes to like a dead end there's nothing in this world that is going to heal or help them but Jesus Christ and that is why you know if I'm gonna use my platform for anything I should be using it for the Lord Jesus Christ and I have been but you know when you've been rejected so many times you kind of keep that within you and you just assume that everybody rejects you and uh, you're gonna be rejected with everything that you do and everywhere you go and that's not the truth just because I was rejected by certain people Jesus don't reject me Jesus still calling me for what I gotta get done the fear of rejection is something that can keep you from doing what you're supposed to do. But um, but if Jesus approves, who gives a crap? Who gives a crap? I've had people reach out to me and tell me that they have left hate comments about me talking about Jesus. But eventually, something grew inside of them. And they were just apologizing. Like, I'm so sorry. Like, Jesus Christ is king. He's everything. And if it wasn't for you continuously talking about Jesus, I wouldn't be where I am. And that's not me, that's Jesus speaking through me. So why would I cower down if even the people that was hating on me eventually came around? If you're getting mad at the truth, that's them evil spirits around you trying to get you upset and offended because they don't want you to win. I have to check myself sometimes when I be watching certain sermons. I'm like, girl, are you getting mad because it's something that you know you need to work on? Or they're saying something wrong because they most likely ain't saying nothing wrong. It's just because you just got a feeling of discomfort because you don't want to change when in reality... If there is something you need to work on and Jesus has brought it to your attention, he only doing it because he loves you. And you won't know how good it was that he brought that to your attention until you actually try. You know? Like the Lord been working on me with my patience. He's been working on me with how to love because love isn't so touchy. Love doesn't need its way all the time. Love gives up its right to be right all the time. And that's just what that is. Like sometimes we are insecure about certain things and we instantly get offended. Like let's say I say, oh, I like that. And Jordan's like, mm, I don't like that. I like that one. I'd be like, oh, that's ugly. Girl, he wasn't saying that what you like is ugly. He's just saying that's his preference and that's okay. So just say, like, really, that's what you like? But well, that's nice. That's good to know that you like things like that. Okay. Okay, hold on. Because I went to Target and I did buy myself a Starbucks cup. I'm not going to lie. I had bought myself like a Starbucks cup and like a little hair piece. Um, nothing much because I bought all kind of stuff and I only bought myself a cup and a clip. Look how cute this cup is, you guys. Stop playing with me. Now, not only did I get this cup, Jordan bought me another cup, you guys. Look at this adorable cup Jordan got me. It's textured. It's so cute. Thank you so much, babe. He took me on a date the other day. So I got two new Starbucks cups. I actually did like a little grocery haul that day. So I'll go ahead and enter that clip right now. Cut scene. Yes, ma'am. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly do a Target haul. Yes, girl. I went to Target and I did pretty darn good. I only spent, what, like 30 bucks on myself because I got a butterfly clip and a very beautiful Starbucks cup. But I have to get this. You don't see Starbucks Starbucks cups like this where I used to live. They're all like 
basic. The fact that they had a huge variety of these adorable, gorgeous Starbucks cups, I had to go ahead and get it. It'll be super motivating for like water and like chlorophyll water and stuff like that. So I went ahead and got a cute Starbucks cup because girl, why not? I don't want to start something though. But I might be starting something with a Starbucks cup collection. Anyways, I got these dream bones for my dogs because I guess raw hides don't digest well and I give them raw hides. So I got these dream... So I got these dream bone dream kebabs. Who wants one? Look at, 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 ow. Hey. Oh my gosh, y'all look what these look like. You split them in half, or not in half, but they have like a bunch of different stuff on them. Sit. Lock it. Good girl. Sit. Good girl. Oops, they're gonna love that. I guess it's made with real chicken, pork, and duck. It has vitamin and mineral, vitamin and minerals in it. Cool. I also got Locket a new bed. Y'all, I cannot believe how much these things cost. I got her another $50 bed. Yes, ma'am. Because, like I said, I believe anything living deals with spiritual warfare. And I believe at my old apartment, there was just, it just was not good. And I believe maybe she was going through things as well because Lockett doesn't tear up her own things. It's not her. And she tore up that bed. I don't know if you guys remember. And I just don't believe that that was her. So I got her a new one. If she tears this one up, then um, I guess we kind of have a look, babe. Um, I got my mama some hard green grapes because she loves green grapes and they have to be crispy. So like hard green grapes. I got some lemons because I want to go ahead and make some guacamole. My brother wasted these dang avocados. So I'm like, okay, I can make some guac out of them. Kobe Jack cheese. I want to make some tacos today and I want to try the Kobe Jack cheese. So when Jordan goes to work, I'm usually working as well. And when I'm working, I don't have time to be cooking and I just go hungry. So what I did was I bought a bunch of things I could eat while he's at work. Because usually when he's out of work, like, he gets me stuff if I need it. Like, I just like, Jordan, 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 Jordan. Please, drive to San Francisco and go. <laughs> you do it. So, I got some Bertoli meals. So, I got Bertoli chicken, broccoli, and fettuccine Alfredo. I love these counters because I can be like a super cool haul like that. I got some Bertoli chicken and Florentine and Farrell. I don't know, you guys. I got some more Bertoli meal. These are so good, you guys. I swear to gosh, you have to try them. They are amazing. And I don't like peppers, so I always find the ones that don't have peppers. And then this is chicken carbonara. Carbonara. I'm not sure, but it's so good. I got bacon bits because I want to make homemade pizza rolls. My homemade pizza rolls are amazing, if you guys don't remember. So I got pepperoni for that too. I got the croissants for it. I got some hot sausage because I've really been craving hot sausage. This is a really weird morning meal, but I like peas with sausage with like crushed red pepper in it with some bacon. It's a, I like it. I like what I like in the morning time. I'm a savory girl in the morning time. I cannot be the only one that does not like pancakes, waffles, muffins. It's not my thing. I'll drink some orange juice. Hey, is it apple juice over orange juice or orange juice over apple juice? I'm orange juice over apple juice. How about you? Orange juice. What about you, Zaire? Huh? Do you like apple juice or orange juice better? Apple juice. Oh, Whoa. he's it. Okay, so we're orange juice. He's apple juice. So yeah. what about this? What about this? Ketchup or mustard? Uh, I'm. I'm a mustard. I mean, I'll go with mustard if it's just like if I'm just eating mustard, but if it's like, I use ketchup for more things, but I like mustard. I would, I swear to gosh, if it came down to it, I would use mustard over ketchup for the rest of my life. Even with fries, I don't care. What about you? If you had to pick one for the rest of your life, ketchup mustard. or mustard. Me too. Okay. Yeah. It's that, it's that tanginess. It's that, mmm. And ketchup be stinking. Like, you ever smell kids that be smelling like ketchup? Ooh. Oh, Lord. Sharp cheddar, sharp cheddar cheese. These are my favorite taco shells. Of course they're not authentic, but it's the nacho cheese flavored taco shells. These are so packed with flavor. They're so good I can eat them as chips. But what I have done is I've broken them up and ate them like nachos. They're absolutely crazy. And they can sit on their own. I got some tomatoes for some tacos. I haven't had pizza rolls in a while, but if you crisp them real good in the oven with some good ranch, girl. Pizza rolls. Um, I got some big. Go show them. I'll show them. Y'all know I love my butterfly clips. Look how beautiful this one is. Look how beautiful this butterfly clip is, you guys. It's so sparkly. You guys just can't even see. It's so cute. So, I only got myself two items, and the rest of it is super responsible. 
Oh my gosh, I love these energy drinks, you guys. These taste like a light Sprite. I don't like super syrupy, sweet energy drinks. That's why I be having to add water to a lot of my energy drinks. I have to dilute stuff, girl. It'd just be too much. So I got these new C4 Smart Energy Natural Energy Drinks. And I got Blood Orange Yuzu and Cherry Berry Lime. Thanks, babe. I got some taco seasoning. But I got 25% less sodium because, girl, if I eat a lot of sodium, my nose and my face will swell. And that's the truth. And I don't like that. Um, I got some Penn Steakhouse Ranch for the pizza rolls and just having ranch in the house, period. I got my nephew some macaroni and cheese um, cups. Candies. I got my nephew some chicken nuggets. I got the air fried ones because they said they have 75% less fat. <clears throat> They're going to be just as good, but they're going to be healthier. Next time, they have spicy ones they came out with. Next time, we'll get those. I don't know if he's going to like them. So next time, we're going to get them, all right? I got a bunch of soups. I would have thought these soups were so gross if I didn't grow up on soup. I got Progresso soup. So I got the beef pot roast with country vegetables. Boy. She ate the ice. Come here, look. That was quick. Come here, little buddy. No, mama, you can choke. She been acting out like crazy, y'all. The other day, I'm looking at her and I'm like, what are you doing? And she's hacking something up. A whole raw hide comes out of her throat. She does it again. So now I grab out her mouth. She don't want me to get it, but I'm getting it out of her mouth. That has been a fear of mine. So then I just begin to pray. I'm like, Lord, protect my baby. Please don't let anything happen to her. Please don't let her choke. Like, please, Lord, protect her if I can't see her if I'm not around. She must have got a hold of another one the other day because I have not been giving her them. The other day I came downstairs and she threw up. And I'm like looking in the throw up and there's a whole hide. And that makes me believe that she was choking and she threw up. Girl, these dogs, she's been stressing me out, y'all. I mean, no, she really hasn't. I love her. Come here, Essence. Come here, Plankin. She's been doing this weird thing because Essence goes outside all the time. I didn't include that in my recent vlog, but Essence goes out all the time. But her thing is this. If she pees and has to go number two, she'll do both. But if she has to go number two more, then she'll just number two and come in and pee in the house. And I try to walk around and be like, girl, you have to go pee still. But every single time I know when she goes back in the house, she's gonna pee. So she's got some weird stuff going on right now, but I'm just working with her. Um, yeah. We got some Gatorades for hydration. But the soup, my baby loves her bed. I got baked potato with cheddar and bacon bits. I got some chicken corn chowder and it's flavored with bacon. I know it sounds weird. No, don't. No. If you like what you like, then you like what you like. That's what it is on a bite. Mm, 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 all night. That's what it is. All right. This is the best. Like I told you guys before. The best garlic bread in the whole entire world is New York Texas Toast Five Cheese. On a block. Hey. Talking hot, talking hot. New England clam chowder. I want some fresh kind from some, uh, like a red lobster. I want some lobster bisque and some clam chowder, but I just got that. I don't even know why I got it. Never go to the store hungry. Unless you struggle to be hungry. When you're hungry, go to the store and get some food. Doritos, yeah, yeah. Sour cream for the tacos. I gotta show them my favorite or my famous special taco sauce. I make a special, first of all, y'all, I make all different kinds of tacos. The other day I made some amazing, authentic chicken tacos. They were, okay, I don't know about authentic because I don't even know what authentic is, but it was authenticer than I usually do. Everybody in the house, I'm not joking. My mom, my brother, Jordan, me. They all said these are the best tacos I have ever eaten in my entire life. So, if y'all want me to show you guys how I make my famous chicken taco with corn tortillas and like a homemade sauce, let us just know because I'm telling you guys, they are bomb. I don't think you should show like the recipe and how you make it. Yes, I should. Look at, let me tell you something about YouTube. Let me tell you something about YouTube. They always have the date of when you made the video. So if somebody else want to come out and do it, hey, my video said I did it before you. That is true. Okay. Anyways, um, croissants for those pizza rolls. Homemade pizza rolls, creamer, caramel macchiato. Can you put this in the fridge, baby? I got Zaire some hot sauce because, girl, my nephew gonna make his own hot sauce right one day because this boy, oh my gosh, hot sauce, that's all he needs. You can feed him a live chicken, he doesn't need hot sauce. You can feed him a worm, he doesn't need hot sauce. I'm just saying. And then I got some ground beef. Girl, don't ever go to Target for your ground beef because it's too expensive, but I didn't want to go to Meyer or Kroger, so I paid the money. So I got that which is what one pound and then i got here two pounds okay 
Girl, I'm gonna make me some tacos today, and I like to make a lot of meat because I'm gonna have tons of leftovers. So Especially when it comes to tacos. Especially when it comes to tacos, yes. And what else? I got a, y'all, y'all have never seen a combination like this. They have the puffs. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Stop playing. Let me show y'all my baby. She's so happy. I knew it. She, she's not a bed person. She is. I knew that she would be the one to immediately get in that bed. I mean, it's hers anyway. But I was like, what if Essence does go in there with her? But no, mm -mm, girl, she is not a relaxer. She's the relaxer. Okay, honey, look at this gorgeous girl. Look it. You're pretty. You're gorgeous. You're smart. You're intelligent. You're beautiful. You're blessed. You're loved. Essence like, um, so what you trying to say? <laughs> girl, right back at, I mean, not right back at you. Same to you, little baby. See y'all. All I got was a little hair clip, which is super cute, and I got a cup. So I'm doing really good when I go into the store. I'm just getting, like, things that I need. And, yeah. Girl, we getting down to it, though. I be talking so much, but like I said, I want to make this, like, a FaceTime kind of vlog. They're going to be very long, but who cares? I'm always so... I be judging my own self all the time, just beating myself up, beating myself up. Girl, stop overthinking and overanalyzing everything. Just live, girl. Just do your thing, do your thing, do your thing, do your thing. Deal, deal, deal thing. Okay, listen. Am I the only person that been feeling like coffee just ain't doing it? Like, I gotta have a coffee and an energy drink to be balanced out. You know what I mean? Like, coffee just don't do it for me no more. Let me tell y'all something about this jacket. Girl, I used to get $100 a month in allowance, okay? I blew my whole $100 on this jacket because I wanted to be just like this girl. And I'm not gonna get into her personal business, but just know that her parents were making dirty money in the street. So I always compare myself to her because she always has so many nice things. I'm like, girl, we in the hood. How you got all this stuff? Well, but I always compare myself to her. I mean, it was always a thing. And she had a white version of this jacket. In eighth grade, that was my eighth grade year that my dad passed away. There was this new kid that came to the school and I thought he was pretty funny looking. All the girls thought he was cute. I just thought he was pretty funny looking. Anyway, the teacher sat him right next to me. We ended up kicking it, getting to know each other, and kind of right when we were like having like a crush on each other, I had to leave the school. But he didn't really let it go. So anyway, we were talking, talking, talking. But I ended up telling him we come from two different backgrounds. Like I'm I'm struggling. I come from this and you come from like suburb type stuff. Like, look it, we can't do it. But we still remain pretty cool, blah blah blah. Um, her and I grew up together and him and I had like a crush on each other, blah, blah, blah. Um, they ended up messing around, doing nasty stuff. Uh-uh, I never did any of that stuff. I always had respect for myself that wasn't me. Um, it didn't end up working out for her because he ended up going around the school, another school. Okay, I switched schools and then he had to switch schools because that school ended in eighth grade. So they both ended up going to the same school. They ended up messing around, ended up going around the school, he ended up telling people stuff and I'm still pure ain't nobody got nothing to say about me because i kept myself pure and i didn't send nasty things i didn't do nasty things so it actually didn't even end up working out for her and he cheated it was like a lot of stuff but they both knew she knew that i liked him he knew that that was my girl since we were younger like we grew up together we were cool since third grade all the way up to eighth grade and she knew that he knew that but they did it anyway and it, it did hurt me i'm not gonna lie this is the first time i've ever talked about it it did hurt me a lot it really did um, but of course he wasn't the man for me, of course he's not the guy for me. Um, but that all came from me talking about this jacket. When I got my $100 for the month, I went to Dick's Sporting Goods and blew all my money on this jacket. Now, remind you, I was supposed to be spending my money on YouTube equipment because this was right when I was starting my YouTube channel. I was supposed to be spending my money on YouTube equipment, but I spent it on this dang jacket, which was $100. And it's still cute, y'all. Like, it's still cute. Blah, blah, blah. And I ended up getting it and I spent all my money because I was comparing myself to somebody else. Yeah, trying to stop my career. No. Y'all, my stories, they just be going around in circles. I can't say on one subject. It is what it is. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna beat myself up for it. It is what it is. I just I literally I just that's me. Um my mind is like a million places at once. But so it's not that I've never been hurt by somebody. You know what was weird though? I, I don't know if this was a lord, but uh when I switched schools, he wanted to stay in contact and I talked to him, blah blah blah. And anytime there was like a guy friend or anything that he would find out about, it was like he tease him and blah blah get mad which is weird because what you did to me because I made him aware that she was gonna go to the school I made her aware that they were gonna be at the school and that he um there was this really nice guy at my new school and we never dated but he was just really 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 nice and one time this guy tried to put his hands on me in the hallway and we were getting ready to start fighting and he came out of nowhere and just shoved him down the hallway and was like you can mess with any one of these girls don't touch her 
another situation where this guy came from that old school, come into the school, call me a B word, call me all of these, all of these different things. So I went to go confront him and who was right there? That guy. Anytime there was ever anything, this dude was there. Anyways, we ended up taking pictures together, becoming super cool friends, and that was that dude's cousin. So he texted me, he was like, Am I cousin? I'm like, you just, and I didn't even know, and so the Lord worked it out. The Lord worked it out. The Lord worked it out. <laughs> and he's got me successful at a very young age, so it all worked out. It all worked out. I'm telling you, he worked for you good. And it doesn't mean that he doesn't love them, but I'm just saying, he worked it out for my good. So I ain't got to sit up and like, think about, they doing so much better still. Like, why people get the good end of the stick and I just keep on getting this? No, nah, he said, baby, I got you. I don't need to hold on. Keep yourself pure. Nah, I'll make sure everything all right. I'll make sure. He like, y'all hurt my baby over here. and She's sitting up staying pure. She's sitting up serving me. Y'all hurting her. Uh-uh. Ain't gonna happen. All right. It worked out. Thank you, Lord. All right. He always shine his light on me. That's real. And I'm not even gonna lie. Man, I ain't got no space up in this closet. I'm gonna have to figure out something, y'all, because it is like no space in here. And I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to get rid of some, like a lot of clothing and just become super minimalistic in my wardrobe. Because, girl, this ain't working. I got all these crazy cute jackets. Look at this one, y'all. I only wore this one one time. And that was the first compliment Jordan ever gave me. He was like, you look like you just got out of a fashion show. I'm like, what? He actually saying something? Jordan was a very low-key, non-talking kind of guy. So when he said that, I was like, what? First time he ever gave me a compliment. Okay, but we did get a box done. So I'm very happy about that. Thank the Lord. We got a box done. Now, I'm going to start hanging up my purses. Because things got to get done. I'm talking to y'all like y'all my best friends. I'm telling y'all stuff I ain't never told y'all before. <laughs> oh, shoot. I ain't trying to put nothing together. So this is what I did. Y'all know I got all them little mini bags. I have a bunch of tiny little purses from H&M, Target, girl, everywhere. So what I thought would be a good idea is I got a coat rack. And I'm going to hang my purses on the coat rack. Now, I don't put nothing together. I always had a man do that. So I have Jordan put together stuff and Brent put stuff together. So with that being said, let's see. Oh, this should be easy. But I don't know. Oh, okay. Let me see. Okay, they said get part A. What the heck is what the heck? Come on now. Is this it? Is this it? This is it. This is it. This is it. Get part A and get two part Fs. Wait, how am I supposed to? Why are they not labeled? These are G. They are labeled. Girl, you talking crap, you don't even know what they didn't did in the factory. Um, let me put my hall light on. I got a hall light. Ah! Thank you, Jesus. Let's see. These are F. So I put F into A. Twist it in there. Yes, sir. Yeah, get into it. Okay. I'm really Bob the Builder out here. Yes. Girl. This is it. It's going to be the bottom, I bet. Yep, while they start me at the top, they definitely start me at the bottom. And it's going to go in that little corner in there, y'all. It's going to go in that little corner. Why didn't nobody tell me how dirty my camera is? Y'all probably like, girl, why you putting your responsibility on us? Do your job, sis. I'm so sorry, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Okay, back to business. Back to business. Back to business. All right, so it says to put B into A. So where's B? That's D. This is B. They make this pretty darn easy, but how would this go in if it has a screw? Girl, oh, right here. <laughs> this is dope. I'm glad I got a black one because it's going to go cute. Now, listen, you guys. I got curtains in my room I'm not very happy about because they said that they were going to be uh, like ivory cream, ivory, whatever the heck, and that did not happen. They came and they're like a gray. So... They're ugly, but they're cute at the same time. They're just, they literally are going to clash so bad with my theme because they match the bed. They do, but I don't want the bed theme anymore. Like I'm going to keep my bed because honestly, I'm not just going to buy a whole new bed. I have been so toxic with just buying, buying, buying in like the last year that like, I'll just keep buying until I get what I want. Or if something I don't like anymore, I'll just buy a new one, which is 
dumb it's so stupid and immature and like i was gonna buy a new set of curtains and i was like no you've already spent nearly a hundred dollars on buying curtains because the first ones didn't work out no these didn't work out but they're gonna work out mm -mm, girl no girl i already had the money than the curtains come on come on we on a journey sis we on a journey to wisdom and maturity look at this thing y'all i'm about to put all my purses on here I gotta find a, a box of purses. So then, oh, yep. Look at me talking crap. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm gonna be like, babe, look what I did. And you're gonna be like, I'm so proud of you. I can see him doing that right now. I wish these handles were a lot longer. That's weird. I wish they came out longer so that I could hang more purses, but it's probably not good for the purses to do that. But who cares? You know, I'm not gonna lie. They be taxing for the tiniest purse. The, the, the tinier the purse, the more expensive they are, it feels like. Like, get out of here. Life is so expensive right now. Like, everything is just <laughs> so expensive. It's like, you get a nice paying job, but then it don't feel like it because everything went up in price. Like, uh, it's just so annoying. And that's why it's really time to depend on Jesus, y'all. Because he gonna make a way. This is his, this is, this whole entire earth belongs to him. So if you think he ain't gonna use the resources he has down here to help you out, girl that's the devil talking i'm gonna have to have jordan take these off there's stickers all on it like a b c d e f g but i don't want to take them off because my nails might scratch the black paint off but it seems to have a good amount of handles to where i could at least hang three bags each handle i got ideas y'all i got ideas y'all we ain't rich so we're gonna figure it out you feel me and this is the finished product I'll be back. I'm going to go grab some purses and we're going to start hanging them up. But it's going to go in my closet. So let's see what it looks like. Uh-oh. I think, oh, it's too tall. Wait, we have run into a problem. We have run into a problem. What in the heck? We've run into an issue. It's, it's, it's too tall. So it's probably not going to be able to go in here. Because I want to be able to use the whole entire space. Like, let me show you guys. Like, it's right there and I didn't want it to be that high. And I want to be able to, like, use all that space. And putting something behind that wouldn't be cute. So this is gonna have to go in my room. Okay, because my vanity, I wanted it to be moved over. But I'm thinking maybe I should just use that space right there that I have. I'm still figuring everything out and, like, where I want things to be how I want to do things. But I mean, I guess it could go right here. I could just hang some bags right there. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, I'll be back. Let me go grab some purses. I got flipped off the other day. So now where I live, people drive crazy reckless. And so somebody was racing up on me the other day and almost hit my dang car. I swear to gosh. And these people looked like they were on strong drugs. So like all I could do was pray for them. But also I was grateful because it showed me how mad these demons are in the spiritual realm. And it gives me my confirmation that I'm doing what's right. But anyways, yeah, these people were racing up on me the other day, almost hit my car. And we got to the stop sign. And it's a four-way. Anyways, I proceeded to go once it was my turn at the stop sign. They proceeded to go and it was not their turn at the stop sign. It's a four-way, okay? So you have to wait. And they and they went around my car and they're screaming. They're putting up their middle fingers. And I look at their hands and I'm like, okay, them drugs are tearing you up. Anyways, my flesh wanted to cuss them out too. I wanted to follow them because they, they went into their apartments and their car is still parked there. How dumb. If it was the wrong person, you would be done for right now. Um, my flesh wanted to race up on them, cuss them out too, get my stuff in, and then call it a day. But, I'm on a whole different level. Not than them. I'm not saying I'm on a whole different level than, yeah. I'm on a whole different level than I was last year or the year before or the year before. I'm just doing so much better. And it was my confirmation. I was happy and I was talking to my brother because my brother was in the car. And I was telling him, you know, that's our confirmation that we're doing what's right. Because we were literally leaving the grocery store and we had a lot of incidences in the grocery, incidences, incidents incidents in the grocery store with straight up demons and it's the truth like i can't believe how much crazy stuff has happened since we moved here like with people but it's because demons are mad that we're coming up that we're doing good and the flesh wanted to stoop down to their behavior 
But Jesus and the Holy Spirit was like, ah, 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 you're doing so good. That's why they're mad. That's your confirmation. Smile, keep driving, and enjoy your day. And I did. So the point of the story is if somebody gets to popping off and acting crazy, hey, stay calm. Listen to the Holy Spirit. That's your confirmation you're doing good. Because right when you're doing better in life is when they're going to try to tear you down. Mm, okay. There's hangers in here too. So it's not all bags. Okay, this purse got stuff all in it. Okay, girl. All right, we got a cute little coach bag that my mama got me. Put that right there. This is actually a cute little Michael Kors purse my mama gave me or got me. Now this, this big old tote bag, honey. Mm, I'm just gonna put it on there. I don't even go. I'm just gonna put it on there. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it on there. Okay, I got tons of hangers, which is good because I need more hangers. Tons of hangers. A cute little green bag. This is always my little pop of color. Okay, honey, I want it on my birthday. Oh yeah. And thank you for all the birthday wishes, whether they were late or whether they were early or on time. I thank you, thank you, thank you. This ain't meant for bags, so it really ain't working out too well. But, um, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna... <laughs> this is kind of becoming a mess. <laughs> it looks so bad. It looks so bad, but I don't care. Because it would look worse if I did it, like, another way. If I put them anywhere else. Okay, so that's all the purses I found so far. I have so many more purses. I just don't know where they are. That's all I found so far. It looks really cluttered, but you know, what can you do? I have to do the little trick with this one because the strap seems to be getting in the way. Oops. Also, update on our new home. We just got security installed the other day. We have five cameras from a bunch of different angles. Five cameras, as you know, it's a bunch of different angles. We've got five cameras. We've got sensors on every single window. The whole entire home is secured. There are other things that we have done down at my mom's level to secure her level even more. And other things as a family that we've done to secure our home. Um, so yes. This is what I'm going to say to all my girls or even my males that are getting ready to have their first apartment or my mamas out there that are having their first apartment with their kids or you're by yourself. Even if you're not by yourself, this is what I'm going to say. Get a security system. If you can afford the rent, but you can't afford the security system, save a little longer because the security system is going to make you feel so safe and it's going to make your kids feel so safe. Get every single window marked so that you know if a window is being opened, if a door, and there's only so much time until police pull up. It is an amazing idea to invest into security in your home. When I first moved into my apartment, I remember a lot of people asking me like, how do you feel so safe? And I remember emailing you guys like, hey, get a security system. Get a security system. I feel safe because I have a security system. I have cameras, you know, install ring cameras. I went all out with the security in this place because of course there's four levels, there's tons of windows. So I went all out. I got five cameras. Um, and that's what I decided to do. Now I'll be right back because I ordered a big plant off of Amazon. Haven't opened it. I don't know what it looks like, but we're gonna go ahead and put it up and see what's up. It's 55 inches and I believe that's good. Y'all, I don't know anything about this stuff. All I know is that I want a nice room. So, and I really like plants nowadays, not real plants, fake plants, which I wish stores carried them more often, but at the same time, I can't fit a big plant in my car. One day when I get my big old car. <laughs> Honey, are we gonna film on my birthday? Uh, I don't know, it's kind of up to you. We're definitely gonna have some fun. I think we should. You think because, we should? Yeah, because uh, I think we're gonna go birthday. I think we should go somewhere like Sky Zone. That's, that's, uh, that's a long way away. Yeah, but Uncle Jay said he'll drive when he gets out of work. He said, so Mimi and I will do stuff with you during the daytime. And then when Uncle Jay gets back from work, then we can go to Sky Zone. But it's up to you. If you want to go bowling, you can go bowling. I want to go Sky Zone. I know you want to go Sky Zone. I never went there. Me neither. I remember when it was actually really popular when it came out. Yeah, I I, uh, I looked up people at Sky Zone and uh, I wanted to go so bad. Really? Uh huh. And they have a basketball court. Yes, they do. They do have a basketball court. All right, let's see what this thing is about. It looked cute online. It was pretty darn pricey. It was like seventy or eighty dollars. It's a plant. Yeah. People put that like over there. Uh uh, I'm putting it right here next to my perfumes because I had to put up my perfumes. Oh. All those three boxes are filled with perfume. So much perfume. I know. 
And some of my shoes. And some of my shoes, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. That's what I said. That's cute. Haha. -ha. Okay. It's not really stable. So that's why you're going to put it against the wall? Yeah, it's going to go against the wall. It's not too stable. But I plan on putting it in a different pot anyway. But I'm glad that it came with one. Because some of them just don't. How did you get the TV to stay open? The TV? Yeah. We leaned it up against a a uh, hamper. And then I have to call Best Buy once I get my card situation or my card and stuff. There's a hamper over there? Yeah. And then I'll be able to call Best Buy and get my TV mounted. And we'll get Jordan's TV mounted. Okay, I got the plant all set up, but I always need my mom's like validation, so she's headed up to see how it looks. Honey, did you know if you walked in from there and I was standing? Come on, Ma! He did. Yeah, there's a sensor right there on the left. It's not going this way. It's going the other way. Yeah, real funny. Ain't this that so is great? beautiful. It's beautiful. How much was the plant? Seventy bucks. Seventy nope. bucks. It's worth it. It's beautiful. It's, it's fake. It'll stay for years, whole life. Look, girl. Look, girl. Yeah. Ooh, it's amazing. In my closet too. Hand up in my purses right here. You did a great. Wow. Mhm. Mm oh my gosh. It's so great. Get it, girl. We work it, girl. It's looking good. We get it. We get it. Yeah. Yeah, we're yes. gonna have a great time. That's far away. I said well, Uncle Jay said he'll drive you. Yeah, we're gonna have a great day. <laughs> a great day. I don't want no work on my birthday. No you work. Want no, on what? no work on his birthday. No work. No unpacking boxes. No, nope. that's why I'm getting all my work done right now. Okay, so this is what's going on right now, you guys. The curtains, okay. My the reason why I got them is because they have like that cute boho theme with like the little balls on the side of them. I think that's super cute. I really love that. These do not go with my theme, but they're so perfect because they're just magnetic and I just get to put them together and then at nighttime I can just, you know, pull these um, to completeness. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I'm getting hot, but they don't really match, but they're cute enough. They are, you know, doable. And now this plant, you guys, it just really made my room look so much better. Greenery really helps make things look good. And then Jordan put up this shelf for me the other day. So I decided to go ahead and put my radio up there and then like some cute hanging plants. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put my perfumes up. And I have one, two, three boxes of perfume. I did put up a good amount of my dossier fragrances i love my dossier i have tons of perfume oils as you guys see i have my radio up here i don't want this clock up here or this plant up here it's not cute so i bought some hanging plants to go where my perfumes are gonna go just to go with my vibe so let me think do i want the radio right here or right here i want i think the plant should go like right here no because i have three of them so one of them might go right there, but I know the first one is gonna go right here. I don't know why that is. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. I don't know why, but I think that like the the one that's like thicker huh. should go in the bathroom. What thicker one? Like the one that you just took down for right there. Yeah, but I have enough space. I already, I tried to put it in the bathroom before, but I took it out because I have enough plants in there, which I haven't even showed you like what my bathroom looks like right now. I have to put up a mirror in there. But, I mean, you could say these plants don't match, which they kind of don't, but I don't really care because I love how green everything is. I just need to start working on putting my perfumes up. My ring light is in Jordan's car still, so I don't even have my ring light, so it's not much lighting going on right now. But I need to go ahead and start putting up my perfumes. I've been dreading putting up my perfumes, you guys. That's why they're not even up. Um, I did buy some more perfume shelves that I'm going to go ahead and put together real fast. Um, and I only bought two more perfume shelves because my hair is... Wow, okay, that's pretty bad. Because my um, perfume shelves just don't hold that much perfume. They just don't. I'm going to have to bobby pin my hair because it's not working out. Also, you guys, my mom just complimented my lashes. I'm getting better at them, you guys. 
if you don't know the update if you didn't watch my recent vlog i moved and my lash tech love her love her love her but there's no way i'm gonna drive that far to get my lashes done every two weeks it's just not gonna happen and yes yeah. you do the uh thing what the perfume shelves the perfume shelves um I'll let you peel the sticker off, but I'm not going to let you screw them in because I want them screwed in right. Yeah, and I really did like that lash tag because I've only had two lash tags that didn't say anything about my skin. Because I've had like weird lash tags say things like, oh, your skin looks happier today. Or have you tried this product for your skin? Like, I'm paying you to do my lashes. I'm not paying you to talk about my skin. I'm okay. And so she was actually one of the lash tags that never said anything about my skin. Never made me feel uncomfortable. It's sad and we were starting to like build a little bond and talk a lot but I just there's just no way that I'm gonna be able to go to her every single time I need my lashes done so Jordan took me out the other day and he bought me a bunch of different lashes and so um I've been putting them on by myself like underneath and making them look like lash extensions I cut them up and stuff like that so who knows but I have um check on my nails y'all like my nails I just apply these today they super cute ain't they anyway so I have two display risers y'all know about these um people use these for action figures or perfumes or skincare it really would look super cute in my bathroom with skincare but I've already filled up the entire the entire counter space like let me show you guys it's a mess I need to clean it but this is what's going on in my bathroom like I already have things set up I feel like that's clashing but for now it's gonna work I'm gonna hang up this mirror right there so yeah I already have like enough stuff on my counters and I also you guys I put away a bunch of stuff in these drawers and I'm feeling super accomplished look at that you guys oh my gosh so yeah I've taken up a bunch of counter space and there's no more room so we're just gonna put my perfumes on it. Oh my gosh, I am loving my room. It's coming together, it's coming together. Yeah, so you gotta take the stickers off. See that how it's peeling right there? Y'all, I have these on my Amazon store for, but make sure you take the sticker off because it's gonna look foggy and gross. So take the sticker off of that one. We bobbing the builder today. Bobbing the bobbing the builder, the builder, the builder, the builder today, today. Right, so I'm calling the, bob the builder and he was bold. <laughs> the builder is bold. <laughs> oh, there's two stickers? That's why <laughs> I had only peeled off one of the stickers last time. Oh, don't, don't touch it because I don't want to get it nasty. Just get the sticker off. Why is it so clear? It looks like, it looks like really clear. It looks really good, doesn't it? It looks like, like, cool clear. Like, really clear. Oh, I was about to say, where the dang screws at? Look. Yeah, it's real clear. Because it's supposed to look super expensive. <laughs> it looks like bubbles. Right yeah, there. it does. What happened there? Something. <gasps> Y'all, something must have happened when they made it. Yeah, something must have happened because y'all look at that. It looks like bubbles or something. It's not. Oh, it's not focusing. There we go. What the heck happened? Oh, well. Since the plant. Okay, so the plant that I bought, it's not prime. As you guys know, prime is more safe to order from um but there are different sellers on amazon that you can buy from and that was not a prime item like that big plant was not a prime item so what i did was because there's been times where i bought stuff that was not prime and prime couldn't handle the situation for me and then the company was just like oh well we delivered it we don't know what to do you're gonna have to contact usps or something my mom and i got together and i asked her like, can you please pray with me that my package gets delivered and everything goes smoothly? And we prayed about it and we prayed about it and it got here. So I'm very grateful that he allowed my package to get here safely. So just pray over everything, you guys. If you worry about little things, he cares about the little things you care about. And all you got to do is talk to him. He was down here on this earth before. He knows the temptations and the struggles that we've had. He's had to feel all of it. So if you think he don't understand, girl, you crazy. Okay, you guys. So. It is now perfume time. I'm gonna go ahead. Hey, stop with the humming, boy. You messing up my uh, my content. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting up perfumes. Oh my gosh, it feels like Christmas, you guys. This feels so much fun. Look at this. Yes! Oh my gosh, it feels like Christmas. I have tons in brand new boxes. Yes, and I never even wore this North Bonnie perfume. See, like, there's no reason to be shopping. I already have everything. I have everything that I need. Yes! Oh my gosh. Uh, one time you went to the store for uh, perfumes at, like, uh, I think it was Sephora or something. Uh huh. And then you said uh, you had almost everything in there. Almost everything, exactly. I walk in the stores and I'm like, I already have that. Oh my gosh. 
see people are too quick to be offended offended i like dylan blue and there's another okay dylan blue by versace but there's another one that came out and it's like turquoise water something like that i don't know there's another one and it's not bad but i like dylan blue and there was this lady in there and she was like have you tried these i said honestly like i literally have like all of these i was just coming to see if they had this one new fragrance she was like oh but i love this fragrance right here this is the versace one this is like the newer one and i was like actually i don't really like that one i like the dylan blue one she said oh i can't stand that one that one's gross this is my favorite and the way she said it was like so weird and rude i'm like okay anyways let's start putting these fragrances up so i'm not gonna put up the perfume shelves on this level that i'm doing right now i'm gonna put them on this level because i want to have perfume shelves no perfume shelves perfume shelves no perfume shelves so it seems to me like the top is gonna be like decoration and the bottom is gonna be like body spray and like body here like my expensive lotions because i haven't even huh it is like a pattern and i haven't even used any of my perfume oil since moving here because i haven't been able to find my non-scented necessary lotion you guys know i only use my perfume oils with my necessary lotion anyways let's go ahead and start putting up these fragrances now the thing is is i'm gonna put them up here but they're probably not gonna be organized until i've got them all up because i like to organize them by size it looks like they need to be cleaned off too anyways let's get started Okay, girls so this is the current progress i have a whole shelf done and honestly these shelves hold so much more than i was expecting like that was nearly two boxes of perfume so this is the second box and it's down to like the little nitty gritty um these are like the boxes i'll go ahead and put that on that level but yes girl we have a whole level done i got my perfume oils we got the dossier fragrances. We are loving it, girl. I am super obsessed. I need to get like a cute little picture right there. Something like that. Ooh, I... Pictures of you and Uncle Cameron as kids. Yeah, I know, I know. We gotta go through those pictures together, but I wanna get like a cute black and white picture of like some family, but I have seen this one picture on Amazon I wanna buy. It's like a little decoration and it says, I still remember, I still remember the day that I prayed for the things that I have now amen okay so anyways i have completed that level they're a little bit crooked because jordan accidentally put it together like a little bit wrong but that's okay i'm not upset about it i'm glad that it's up um i'm gonna go ahead and finish this other level and i'll get back to you guys and this is the finished product girl how beautiful is this i'm very satisfied with this this is so gorgeous the hanging plants didn't really work out but they can obviously go other places in the home um so i have a hanging plant right there and then the other two look super cheap i don't know what i'm gonna do with those but i have to figure that out they do not they just do not look cute we'll figure it out i just love the vibe of this you guys it is so cute now i need to go ahead and get started on my bathroom girl i have like rotten coffee be quiet, little boy. I have, like, rotten coffee in here. It's just been sitting in here. What the heck? I'll let Jordan take care of that. I didn't even say anything. <laughs> I knew he was going to say something. That's why I said shut up. I don't want to play. This water's from yesterday, but it's still good. Oh, oh my gosh. I got 
two old expired Pepsis in here. What's going on, you guys? Um, I need to go ahead and straighten up my bathroom and get my bathroom together. All that talking I was doing about makeup wipes, you guys, and I had Jordan buy me some of these little makeup wipes at Burlington the other day because now that I don't have eyelash extensions, I can't just wash my eyelashes all the time, so I have to use the makeup wipes to get my bottom mascara off. So yeah, girl, all that talking I did about makeup wipes and I need them. But I put my cellar, like a, I put a bunch of this micellar water on the makeup wipe and it makes it less damaging to the skin because you have so much liquid. But yeah, girl, I gotta go ahead and straighten things up. Also, Jordan bought my mom and I these super cute little mermaid black girl sunscreens. Oh my gosh, you guys, this stuff is amazing. So I've actually never really tried black girl sunscreen, but I always got my mom black girl sunscreen and I put my brother on a black girl sunscreen and Jordan um, because girl, we don't need a white cast, no white cast at all. But when I moved, I forgot my sunscreen back at my old place. So Jordan let me borrow his black girl sunscreen and then i looked it up the other day because i liked it and they came out with this packaging so i had him drive me to ulta and he got me and my mom one and is this not cute all right so i'm just gonna put those in there yo yes ma'am um i'm so happy i found a bunch of my concentrated room sprays but i really love that my new bathroom the fan is super quiet and discreet but it sucks out all bad smells like super fast so i never have to wait too long for my fan to suck up the nasty smells yes ma'am but i found my concentrated room spray who calling me who could be calling me oh it's mimi who man the devil be trying it y'all mm, 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 mm. i'm not even gonna speak on it because it's just gonna bring it to life the devil is mad, all right? Okay, so I wanna go ahead and put this mirror up. I still haven't even cleared off. The devil's trying it, he's trying to knock me off my game, y'all. Girl, calm down, everything's fine. See, look, I'm gonna be an example for y'all today. The devil tried it, he's trying it. I'm gonna stay positive. I'm not gonna let him have my day because I've been having a good day and it feels so good. Why would I not continue to have a good day, okay? I wanna put this mirror up, I just bought this mirror at target okay girl so i got that mirror up it don't look too bad it just it could come over a little or maybe even down just so i can use it but honestly oh well it is what it is and also just to go ahead and clarify my mom didn't call me and irritate me it was something that happened that she relayed the message to me about um so no it wasn't my mom but when people mess around with my family it just irritates me so bad that's one thing that can literally get underneath my skin so bad like Dude, do not mess around with my family. Like, uh-uh. And that's why I don't even like my family doing social media because, dude, I can get beat down by comments. Okay, cool. But when you mess around with my family, then there's an issue. Like, you don't want me coming for your family, so don't come for my family. But it wasn't even a situation like that. I'm just saying. So if you don't want me coming for yours, don't come for mine. That's a struggle for me to stay Christian-like when it comes down to my family because, heck no, you're playing with me at that point. I love this cleaner, you guys. So... All white things, or just honestly things, period, that I have that I brought from my old apartment are covered in soot. And this cleaner right here, let me show you, takes soot off like it's water. This Mr. Clean Unstoppables Cleaner, I mix a little water with it because it's super strong. It's like kind of intoxicating. And girl, this stuff cleans like no other. I'm telling you, this stuff is amazing. And there's no other cleaner I know that the smell just lingers around as if it was bleach or something. Cause you know, bleach gonna linger around for a minute. But ain't no other cleaners about to be doing no stuff like that. So, girl, use this if you got soot on stuff. Girl, I'm telling you, this is the way to go. Where my glass spray at? All right. My favorite glass spray is Sprayway um, Glass Cleaner. Y'all, I had to stop talking and pray because it's so easy to say what you're going to do. You're going to say positive. You're going to blah, 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 blah. But I need the help of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, send your Holy Spirit down. I need your peace, Lord Jesus. I need help right now, Lord, to stay calm. 
I ask that you be here with me and help me in this situation because it's easy to say it, say it, but I need the help and that's what it is. Everything's looking amazing. I should have used glass cleaner on these handles because they're stainless steel, but I didn't. But it's working. I'm telling you, this dang Unstoppables cleaner is so good. Okay, so I've never had a glass shower and I have not even cleaned my shower yet. I've been saving it because I wanted to do it on camera because I've never had a glass shower, so I don't really know how to clean a glass shower, but what of them? What I'm thinking is scrub it down with soap and cleaner and then use a squeegee. We'll see. But of course, first, I'm going to go ahead and get the toilet done. Then I'll go ahead and move on to the shower. And we'll be doing this together. If I was live, which I never go live. I'm not a live person. I've tried to do it before, but I just stuttered and I just froze. And it was just embarrassing. Um, but we're going to go ahead and figure out this. Ooh, my, not my nail. We're going to go ahead and figure out this uh, shower situation together. But I think I pretty much got it down packed. I mean, it's glass. I know how to clean glass. Hold on, my knees are about to crack. <laughs> That's me. Um, my knees do that. I thought I was the only person until my brother told me that his knees crack as well. So, hey, I'm not the only one. I can't be the only one here because we're all here together that knees crack. Like, it's pretty darn embarrassing. Oh, my gosh. I don't have a toilet brush or gloves. I'm just going to have to, like, quickly wipe because I see some black stuff coming down. Okay, it looks pretty decent. Okay, you know you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm not gonna like lie to you guys or anything. I really have not cleaned this bathroom once. I've wiped down the counters a lot, but I've never cleaned the actual bathroom. So this is my first time cleaning the toilet. It really is. This bathroom is literally a mess. The floorboards really need to be cleaned, but they were pretty darn dusty when we came in because this is a brand new condo. So there's still like sawdust and stuff places. Um, but I want to keep everything nice because if I see anything in here that is not like clean, it wasn't from any previous people because we're the first people to move in. So I know it's me. So I'm trying to keep everything nice. Whereas when I moved into my other apartment, it had been many other people that had lived there. So I seen so many different damages and so many different messes and different smells on the carpet that were not mine's. And it was so annoying. But I know that if something in here is messed up, okay, that's me. That is me. I thank Jesus that I got a brand new home because spiritually, you never know what people are doing in that home before you move in. So if you cannot afford or you just, there's no newer places around you, I would go in there before you move anything in, pray, praise, rebuke, Bible study, invite the Holy Spirit in and cleanse that house out because you will never know what is in that dang home. If people have fornicated, there are lustful fornication demons in that place if they were raging there's raging demons in there you invite certain demons into your home when you do certain things and that is why a lot of people end up finding out that their children were watching things on their phones that they shouldn't have been watching because they were bringing in people and fornicating in their home or they were inviting demons in their home that their children have to fight. So be careful what you invite into your home because your children have to fight those things off and they're not going to know to fight. So they're just going to go with it. Go with what they're being told in their ear and go with how they feel. So you really have to be careful, especially when you've got children, man, because what you invite into your house, your children have to deal with. That's why I be praying for my nieces, y'all. And that's it. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave it right at that. All right, so the toilet is clean. I'm going to go ahead and clean out the shower, and then we're going to go ahead and get these floorboards and the floor all cleaned up. Now, with cleaning this shower, y'all, I guess first I'm going to go ahead and clean the walls out. But I don't like the fact that I got to stand up in here, so let me go put on some shorts. The joy of the Lord is my strength. I ain't never heard that song, but I heard Joyce Meyer sing it. I said, go, girl. I ain't never heard Joyce Meyer sing. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Come on, breath, y'all. One up them dang stairs goes crazy. And I know my menstrual cycle is coming because I have like certain signs that tell me my menstrual cycle is coming. One of the signs is I have pressure on my chest, so I can't like breathe as good. Other sign is I'm very emotional, very moody, and I feel like crazy. And then the other sign is my body odor changes. Like my body smell, it changes. So yeah, I also get more discharge before my menstrual cycle starts as well. So there's always signs. It used to be that I used to have brown discharge, but now I don't have that anymore. 
now I just have to be like, okay, this is changing. Okay, I see what's going on. I'll get like a pimple or two and you know, it is what it is. But um, I need to get my new shower head and install it or I'm gonna have Jordan do it. Jordan doesn't feel well. Jordan's actually sick, so I'm letting him lay down. My mom and I are like moms together. Like we're, we do teamwork and we made up his bed. We got his medicine. She got him a, a cool pillow for him to lay on. And my mom told him, baby, go ahead and get in the shower. Get your pajamas on and go lay down. Um, Cause he's super humble. He can feel like crap. And then just won't say a word. And then I don't find out until later when it gets worse. And he just keeps doing stuff for me. And he won't tell me. I'm like, babe, you gotta let his sister know. So. This is a difficult. I'm gonna have to go get water out of the sink and keep going back and forth. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of my little brother's cooking right now, y'all. So very excited. I love when other people cook. I just love it. I just love it. Like I don't have to cook. Thank the Lord. Oh my gosh, we're clean. Ah. Unless I just wipe it down with cleaner. Honestly, I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe it down. Cause like, yeah. I mean, soap and water obviously gives it a different shine. So I'll just use glass cleaner because glass cleaner will give it a nice shine. I gotta figure out a good routine. I really do. I like a clean house. I've just been being a little lazy on the cleaning because my focus has been on other things. You know, when you move, you got so much to handle. So my mom and I have been handling like all the moving business and it's been, oh wow, that did work really nicely. I love one piece showers that don't have tile and the grout and stuff because that's how mildew produces in the shower and I hated that growing up that we had those kind of showers I just wanted the showers that came in one piece so that I didn't have any mold <laughs> I hate mold oh it's really shiny you guys okay so if you have a one piece shower like this this sprayway is going crazy it is shining this up so nicely oh my gosh I love that okay this is super easy how easy it has to do it with the glass does it come off just like that? Barely. Wait, that did work. What the? Oh, so I can just use go. This is the easiest shower to clean. What in the heck, you guys? That just made that literally so squeaky. Oh my gosh. Spray away! Thank you, Jesus. Said everything that happened to me that was good. God did it. <clears throat> yes, He did. Oh, everything that happened to me that was good. God did it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, He did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything that happened to me that was good, God did. Yes, it did. people clean their glass with like all different kind of things but I've never seen glass cleaner and glass cleaner works good I know it's soap scum but it's taking it right off you know what it probably is though you guys I know what it is it's when the glass gets wet then you can see where the soap was so now I see why people use soap and water. I do see because when it gets wet, you can see it. But when the glass is dry, it's crystal clear.
I got the glass doors all clean. I'll go ahead and show you guys those in a minute. But yeah, now I definitely see why people use soap and water. It just takes more work if you're going to use window cleaner because the soap is like thick and it's like hard to get off the glass unless you use extra elbow grease. So next time I will be using um, soap and water and like a sponge or a scrub brush. I've seen certain people use like O Cedar Mop, which I don't know how effective that would be, but I mean, I'll try everything just to see what the easiest way to go is. But yeah, everything is super squeaky clean. Everything looks amazing. I'm very satisfied with how the shower is coming together because I haven't cleaned it before. So, you know, this feels great. My first time, yes ma'am. I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe down the bottom of the shower. Actually, one of my pet peeves is a dirty shower. And what I love about the shower is that it has a light in it so I can see all the nasty stuff and get all of it gone. I was so tired of that dark apartment <sighs> because I've always liked to be in dark areas because I, I never really liked my skin. I always had skin issues and I still have scarring and things like that. But Accutane changed my life, you guys. I'm so grateful for it. Like words can't even explain, girl. I wouldn't suggest it to nobody, so I'm not the one to blame if you know you hated it but i'm gonna tell you right now i have gotten to the point or let's say this i allowed the enemy to almost trick me out of my life you guys that's how low i was about my skin i didn't want to even like live anymore because i felt so worthless and ugly but i don't want to talk about it because it's still like a super emotional subject for me so we're not going to talk about it but don't let the devil trick you out your life man girl i got toothbrush in the shower everything i've been doing everything in the shower get it over with okay y'all see how them doors is looking i still see some soap scum but they look great y'all they look so good i had even bought a little squeegee for my shower but i mean i can use it for something i just gotta do more research on this stuff i haven't really been on my phone usually i look up like youtube videos on how to do things and how other people do things but i really haven't been on my phone and i'm not mad about it y'all know i'm not a social media person i just i don't like social media it's messy and it's a gateway for the devil to have access into my life i have more white towels because i'm gonna put two towels on here but since i don't know where that dang towel is i'm just gonna put this towel up and call it a day baby i'm just gonna put it up real ugly because i don't really need it to be up cute right now because i'm gonna end up showering tonight so might as well just put it up however <laughs> call it a day all right i'm about to start cleaning these floorboards and then i'm gonna go ahead and sweep up in here and then i'm gonna go ahead and mop Jordan's bathroom so I could go ahead and fill up this uh mop bucket I need to buy the new O cedar mop because they, it separates the water you guys but I love me a new fluffy mop head the other mop heads smell like dog pee um because we've been having to clean up her her accidents she's doing a lot better you guys and just to go ahead and clarify I think I already said it on my target haul essence goes out so much it's crazy she's just wild but no she's fine you guys she's living her best life I don't even know what to say at this point you know but I'm going to use bleach to go ahead and mop my floor. So I've got some concentrated bleach in this olive oil container. I keep that in the laundry room. I also keep fresh mop heads. I'm going to get some super hot water, fill it up, and we're going to go ahead and sweep and mop. I'm going to add a little bit of my famous cleaner. Yes, ma'am, because this and bleach are going to smell so good. Uh-huh. I love a nice bleach with a little extra scent to it. It's gonna smell like laundry.
All right, the floor is all mopped. It smells so amazing. It looks amazing. What I did notice when I moved in is there is like something they use to stick stuff together is on my floor. I was able to get it off of this thing, but right here it's becoming a little bit hard. Do not mind the knee cracking. So as you guys can see, there's like certain things. So I'm going to get this little cleaner thing. It's like a drill toothbrush type thing and you get into little stuff like this and get it off. So I'm gonna go to Target and grab that thing. When I seen it, I didn't really have a purpose for it. I knew one day I would, but I'm not trying to just shop because I know one day I will. I will get it when I know that I have something to use it on. So now I have something to use it on. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that little drill thing because this stuff is like stuck and it's not cute at all. So anyways, um, I have to go ahead and do some laundry, but things are looking so good, you guys. I still have the old cedar mop in there because I don't wanna take it downstairs until I let everybody know that you cannot use bleach on the floors because it's still fresh water. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably do Jordan's bathroom, Brant's floor because he has his tile on his floor. His bathroom, my mom's bathroom. I could tell him, you know, I got some fresh mop water if you wanna go ahead and use it. But this is what everything is looking like, you guys. It is seriously coming together. Sometimes I feel like this is just like a vacation house. I always dreamed of having a home like this and I wake up every single morning in it. And sometimes I feel like I'm dreaming, like is this really my home? And it's really my home. So beautiful, I'm getting emotional, oh my gosh. So yes, the bathroom looks so pretty, you guys. Everything smells great, it looks great. My closet is of course coming together. It looks amazing. My room looks crazy, but I'll have my nephew and I like straighten it up tonight because he loves to help with everything. Um, I just pushed that little leaf back. Should I keep the leaf there or should I just let it hang? Let's see. It's kind of cute that way. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of look cute that way. The curtains are looking kind of cute. Okay, girl, it's all coming together. Whew. With that being said, my brother is actually making food, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and eat and chillax, but I can get a jump start on editing this video. I'm actually gonna go ahead and head up out of here, girl, because it ain't nothing else to talk about, nothing else to do. I'm getting super sweaty, and that's gonna be what it's gonna be, okay? So, I love every single one of you guys. I really hope today's video vlog, FaceTime vlog, I really hope today's FaceTime vlog helped y'all out and helped you guys to feel like you're not lonely. I'm here, Jesus is always there. And I understand you, girl, I get you, I get you. And and then, how y'all feel about my lashes? Because I put these on today. I love y'all. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Bye. Wait a minute. I just ended off the vlog. I already know. But I didn't show y'all my laundry room. This is what I have done to the laundry room. It is so cute, you guys. So, obviously, all of that stuff was already in my laundry room. Those two pictures were in my kitchen. And those two were in my mom's laundry room. So, yeah. I thought I'd quickly go ahead and show you guys what the laundry room is looking like. Yes, those do light up. Do not mind the air fryer, it's beeping. Yes, those do light up, but I don't really care to have them lighten up. They're cute how they are, and I did this all by myself. So cute. So yes, now, bye.